So I'm a senior in EECS, uh, so I've been here since the summer of 2008 where I took the freshman summer sessions, uh, taking some math and some programming. I don't want to sound like uh, jaded, but you tend to get a sense of the groove of things here and it's kind of funny watching people who haven't been here for a while. Um, just because there's things like, you know, during ASUC elections I generally don't walk through Sproul because I don't like getting hassled. There's things like, where is there the best food around here and whatnot. As you become older here, you tend to start to see a lot more of the locals. In high school, I think I was originally going to go math or chemistry. A good friend of mine in my chemistry class actually got me introduced to programming at a let's try it out sort of level. It kind of had the same sort of feel of problem solving that math and chemistry had, but it was a bit more about building things, which um, I really enjoy. I took a course the year after on some programming on Java. It wasn't a very amazing course, but um, I mean, it was sort of a way to get myself like sort of started and then sort of learn, started learning some stuff on my own and then came here. So I'm going to be enrolling in Cornell as a CS graduate student in the fall. My decision with that was mainly based on a love for research. Another part of it is that I really like teaching and so I'm hoping to do academia after I get out. Academia is this nice experience of you get to do research while you get to also lecture and teach. I definitely actually started out thinking maybe I'll do a startup or something. I sort of realized that I wasn't really cut out for sort of the more business parts of the environment. I didn't like a lot of the sort of dynamics that come into the startup world. It's definitely for some people, but it wasn't for me. I like to call myself a tinkerer. I like to sort of take a system, look at it, uh, learn a little bit about it, and then try to extend it. I tend to like to design things uh, sort of well-engineered, careful, but also I like to play around a lot with uh, large uh, programs and sort of learn about them. And actually, I started out talking to people who did CS research here, and specifically, I quickly realized I was interested in a lot more systems. I was sort of inspired a lot by the opportunities that were out there for researchers to sort of really make a great impact on the world. There's different types of security and the stuff that I mainly do is what's called system security and so the idea is that large systems like you might have heard the term cloud computing or the like large networks or whatever sort of securing that sort of stuff. I started to get interested in a little bit of what's called programming language research and what that means is that you sort of understand that either create a language that is inherently secure or to analyze programs using some reasoning about the language to verify properties about the programs and check that it is secure. Me personally, uh, it sort of frightens me sometimes when you think about how much data someone can collect about uh, collect about you. You know, if I if I can sort of pick the right parameters, I can sort of infer where someone probably goes to shop, where someone probably like lives. I'm not like uh, certain people where I don't go on Facebook. I certainly think that the need to socialize is, certain, is certainly a very basic human need. There's got to be a better way of sort of setting up programs so that you don't necessarily have to know that much per about a person. There's certainly a lot to be said about the fact that the more you try to keep something secure, the less you sort of get out of it. I feel like part of what I want to do with security research is also making it so that users can have this sort of freedom with the way they approach their computing and they have more power over what the programs actually do with information about them. It feels so weird that you, you would have to say, uh, I made something that doesn't actually respect your privacy. It's sort of one of those things that uh, if you didn't do technology, you'd sort of look at it and go, that's sort of odd that I would have to say that. One of the things I've realized a lot during uh, 
Definitely the past two years working in re research is that no matter what I do, I'm probably going to do a bit of technology with it. And the reason for that is, is A, because I love it, and B, because there's a need for it. The word technology means uh, tool. Uh, you know, thousands of years ago, a hammer was what you would call technology. And it still is, but you know, you don't use that sense of the word anymore. It's going to be the same sort of thing that a hammer is, which is it's going to sort of become this ingrained part of society that we use and don't even think about anymore. Will I still be doing technology? Yes. But will we still be ca calling it technology is the real question. The answer is, well, I don't know, because it's still going to be new and novel in 20 years. <laughs> it's one of those realizations I've been having a lot more. Uh, so I'm taking a, a course where you go out into Oakland and tutor after school. And you sort of realize how much people tend to forget what the rest of the world is like. What does everyone else do? What is life like without all this technology that we keep developing? And it's interesting. I've learned to not be afraid to ask questions. I think that one of the things that I wish I had done more as a freshman was ask more questions about why, the thing, why are things set up the way they are. It's not like high school where there's a lot of sort of nice sort of clean answers to a lot of stuff. You start to have to deal a lot more with the messy realities of the world. There's uh, a lot more sort of complex problems that people have to tackle on a sort of regular basis and Cal sort of giving me a chance to sort of experience how do you deal with these problems, how do you interact with others, how do you, you know, balance a large workload and still have time to socialize. It's just sort of been an interesting experience, sort of, uh, I think you sort of mature and whatnot as, become, as you become more of a young adult rather than just some sort of high school kid. In the end I want to do like a professorship, but I mean, there's so few positions that I'd be fine just sort of doing teaching and research in any capacity, really. Someone once said to me, if you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. And so I'm sort of pursuing what I love, which is tackling new and hard problems and, uh, you know, trying to uh, give other people the experience that I had of sort of this sort of wow experience when you learn about CS and E.